Hi, this is Chrissy B with BeautifulCreatives.com. Today is Art Journal Thursday, March 12, 2015. And as usual, as I go into this week's Art Journal spread, I really have no plan, so I'm just winging it here. Um, we, I don't know when you're watching this, but we just went through daylight savings time, which meant we sprung forward and lost an hour of sleep. And for some reason, that one hour always seems to discombobulate me as my week is going on and when I started this page I was just really really tired and just wanted to really try to keep something really light and airy and happy so I did that by um, choosing two colors that really make me happy which is an, an orange color and a pink and I will have the exact list of supplies that I've used out on my blog beautifulcreatives.com so if you'd like to know specifics on those please feel free to go over there and check those out after I got my two colors done I really liked it but I wanted to add some kind of a texture to it and I decided to add um, stamping and I use two different stamps one is a, a, a script stamp and the other one is a faux script stamp which is actually like squiggly lines and I turned that one on its side so that's where the vertical lines are coming from here. I added some Tim Holtz reinker in, in three different circles it's a really beautiful green color and I was hoping that it would show up a little bit better but because it is so dark it just didn't work so I took an old paper towel and I kind of started to wipe it up and what I noticed when I was wiping it up is that it kind of left what I would consider a kind of an antique green patina in various places all over the spread. And I absolutely, absolutely love it. So that might be an, an accidental, whoa, that's awesome. I'm so excited that that happens. So um, just remember some of the best surprises come from when you think, oh man, I just ruined my page. And you try to work around it. So that's where that is. Next thing I did was I added some white circles to my page. I, I do circles a lot. I know those of you who watch me know that I'm a big circle person. I do a lot of circles. And decided to do some circles. And I was kind of playing with them. And I decided I didn't like where I was going with that, these two circles on the right hand side. So what I did was I took a baby wipe and I wiped, I basically used a baby wipe like an eraser. And the reason I'm able to do that is because I try to make sure that I let every layer dry before I add another layer on top of it. That is because, especially because I don't have a plan as I'm doing these things, if I let it completely dry, one layer dry before I put another layer on top of it, I can use a baby wipe to wipe away the layer I just painted and it will leave the layer below it alone. So just a hint for you, if you are just like me and you want to take something away, just make sure you let your layers dry before you add another layer on top of it. Now I really like the way that green patina had shown up so well that I decided it would be kind of cool to add a little bit of green to my little, what I'm now calling my spokes. They kind of look like funky cogs to me, which is kind of cool. And I actually didn't see that when I was painting this. I actually see it now as I'm watching it and doing the voiceover. So, um, yeah. I love the way this spread's going, but honestly, I'm so tired. Uh, I couldn't figure out what to do next. So, I have this stack of used paper towels that I use for picking up all sorts of like acrylic and stain and, and ink. And this, I, I believe this paper towel was actually used to mop up some... Uh, Dilusions ink spray and I decided to cut out some circles to fit the insides of each of my spokes. I peeled the two layers apart because this particular paper towel happened to have two layers and I'm going to use a glue stick to, dry, to glue these down. Now you may or may not know this, but a couple weeks ago I took a, uh, a weekend full of Dina Wakely classes and one of the things that she's really, really good at is journaling on her art journal spreads. Now I know that's such a novel concept, I, that's so sarcasm by the way. Uh, I don't generally journal on my Art Journal Thursday videos. Um, I'm not really sure why, I just don't. I don't really like my handwriting and maybe that's why, I don't know. But I decided to do some art journaling on both sides of each one of these spokes and I did them very messy and kind of haphazardly and kind of did them very loopy um, but when I was all done it really kind of seemed to add to the design and by this point I no longer feel tired I feel like I'm in the zone like I could just do this all night long I was absolutely in love with this page by this time so I'm doodling and you know I've got my favorite doodle pen going I'm just kind of adding some marks 
and I decided, oh, I have to think of what I need to put for my thought for the week because I always have some kind of an inspirational, motivational thought. And it's usually something that I need to hear for myself. And I know that if I need to hear it, there's got to be others who need to hear it as well. So this week's message was very simple, but it was something that has, I've really kind of been struggling on, and that's living on purpose. I have a tendency to live on autopilot and not live on purpose. And especially now that I've started uh, a full-time job again, I'm not arting full-time like I was doing. I'm now arting part-time and working full-time. You know, my stress level's gone way, way up, and I have to remember that I need to stay focused and live on purpose, even if that means I'm, I'm, doing more, I'm juggling more things now. I'm very excited about this page. I know I've talked a lot more than normal. It's a very short video, but I love doing this page. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any ideas for things I can do in the future, please let me know. I'm always interested to hear from you. And if you have any questions, I'll do my best to get back to you and answer them in a timely manner. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are so awesome. You are why I do what I do. Thanks so much. Bye for now.